The man who regularly leads the cheering at England's international matches has been told he won't be welcome on the pitches of Spain during the World Cup. The Football Association have written to Mr Ken Bailey to say the national fervour he whips up could encourage trouble from the England fans. Mr Bailey says he hasn't missed an England international in 20 years. He thinks the FA are being too harsh. He says he'll be going to Spain to support England regardless. I feel that there is absolutely no, no reason to worry about me at all. I create happiness and, and no hooliganism. And so to the main points again. International criticism is growing of the decision by 12 English cricketers to play in South Africa. Police searching the hijacked Tanzanian jet at Stansted have found more weapons. And that's it from me. John Humphreys will be here at 9 o'clock. Good evening to you. Well, today's heavy rainfall came as bands of showers moved across the country, some quite heavy and blustery ones. And the isobars very tightly packed together, so the weather's changing quite quickly now. And by tomorrow, this depression and its fronts will be bringing rain across most parts of the country by the end of the day and some strong winds as well. So let's have a look at tonight's chart now because there are still some showers around, most of them in western areas, but there's one of those bands of showers working its way across central parts of the country. I think most of those will have gone by the morning, just leaving showers around the coast, temperatures low enough to give a touch of frost later tonight with some icy patches on the roads. And tomorrow turning out to be a fairly wet and windy day for western areas with some quite heavy rain reaching the southwest by the middle of the day. And then as the cloud thickens up further east, it's going to bring its rain to many western and some southern parts, I think, by the end of the afternoon. The sunshine in eastern areas hanging on for a time, but I think even there we'll find some rain turning up during the course of tomorrow evening. And once again, that rain certainly turning out to be heavy just about anywhere tomorrow, still left with some showery weather up in the far north, but breezy everywhere. That's it. In Nationwide tonight, Geoffrey Boycott breaks the boycott. As 12 of England's cricketers tour South Africa, we're asking whether the trip could wreck world sport as we know it. And I'll be talking to Ian Botham about why he's not going and asking the cricketing authorities what they plan to do next. In Watchdog, the amazing story of a stolen Ford Cortina which the police refused to hand back because the thief claimed he'd improved the car. And that special relationship, Liz and Richard. Now on BBC One, South East at six. Hello, in South East at six tonight, a new scheme to help the mentally handicapped find a future in show business. The continuing debate on fox hunting after Berkshire Council banned the hounds. And should Lambeth Council give ratepayers money to the campaign for nuclear disarmament? Well, we begin tonight with the South East News from Fran Morrison. Now briefly a look at the closing news headlines. The Minister for Sport, Mr Neil McFarlane, has condemned the tour of South Africa by 12 English first-class cricketers. Police have found more weapons on board the Tanzanian airliner, which was hijacked to Stansted Airport in Essex. And that's it. Frank? Well, that's it for this Monday, and finally, a very uh, warm vote of thanks and a very happy St David's Day to all our Welsh viewers. We'll be back, of course, tomorrow at the usual time. Goodbye now. Programmes tonight on BBC One. At 7.20, Brad Maverick gambles and wins. I didn't buy her. I won her. I'll give you $20 for it. $20. Panorama at 8.10 reports on the battle with the unions in Fleet Street and includes a special interview with Prime Minister of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe. At 9.25, a new series of Love Story begins with Andrea Newman's Alexa. Alexa, I've been thinking. I couldn't possibly persuade you to come and talk to our sixth form while you're here. Some of them quite fancy themselves as writers. Oh, Paul. I spend my whole life worrying that one day I'll wake up and I won't be able to write anymore. I don't need to coax anyone else to join me. It's an overcrowded profession already. At 9.55, police looks at the work of traffic officers. When did you start drinking? About half past eight-ish. You've had two pints. At 10.40, Film 82 includes a review of Absence of Malice. Would you tell me the truth, Michael? I 
I'd just please like to know the truth. Tell you or the whole world? What's the difference? The truth is the truth. No. With a portrait of Sir Grant Evans in A Night at the Opera at 11.10, these are programmes tonight on BBC One. Now, the start of a new two-part Doctor Who story, Black Orchid. And for CFAX viewers who have hearing difficulties, there are subtitles on page 170. The second and final part of Black Orchid can be seen tomorrow at five past seven. Tomorrow night, Dick Emery presents Legacy of Murder. What's the damage, Chief? Well, the parts I can let you out cheap. Oh. Seeing as how I had them in stock, £10.50. Oh, it's very reasonable. Plus labour, 40 quid. That's a bit steep, isn't it? Well, the best thing you can do, sir, is have a word with the local constabulary. Oh, well, where is he? A couple of miles down the road. Right. My cousin George. <laughs> Dick Emery, tomorrow at 8 o'clock on BBC One. A lucky day, or is it? Now for Brett Maverick. Too many dusty trail towns, too few.